Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Podcast Special Edition Series 2019-20 College Basketball Season Preview. Now up is the Big Ten. I'm going to go through my projected order of finish, player of the year, freshman of the year, coach of the year, and predict who will make the NCAA tournament. All right, first place in this conference, I have the Michigan State Spartans, who bring back Cassius Winston, Xavier Tillman, Aaron Henry, and Joshua Langford, who's unfortunately injured and is going to be out for a couple of months. That's a big loss for Sparty. Um, last year, Sparty went um, 32-7 and and 16-4 and in conference play, made the Final Four, but lost to Texas Tech. So um, this team should be really, really good. They'll be contending all year. Tom Izzo, amazingly enough, in year 25. So I think special things are in store for year five or year 25 of Tom Izzo. In second place, I have the Maryland Terrapins, who are the preseason number seven. Obviously, Sparty's one. Anthony Cohen, Jalen Smith, Chol Morrell, Daryl Marcel, among notables on this team. Mark Turgeon in year 10. There's a lot of pressure on Turgeon this year. Last year, 23-11, and 13-7 in Big Ten play. They um, made the tournament last year. They, I think, expectations are higher, and they should be back in next year, or I should say this year. Um, in third place, I have the Ohio State Buckeyes, who are 18 in the preseason poll. Chris Holtman in year number three. Um, last year, 20 and 15, 8 and 12. They did end up making the tournament, but they were kind of underwhelming in conference play and whatnot. Um, coming back, DJ Carton, Caleb Wesson, Luther Muhammad. In fourth place, I have the Purdue Boilermakers who are number 23 in the preseason poll. Matt Painter in year 15. Last season they went 26 and 10, 16 and 4 in the Big Ten. Matt Harms, Trivion Williams, Nojel Eastern, Jihad Proctor, Evan Brudo, and Sasha Steknovich. Nice little core there for Matt Painter's team. In fifth place, I have the Indiana Hoosiers. I have them as a surprise team in this conference this year. Year three of Archie Miller. Last year, a very disappointing finish to the season. 19 and 16, 8 and 12 in the Big Ten. They got up to a 12 and 2 start. And then uh, they really fell apart in conference play last year. And I think that um, things will be better this year. Joey Brunk, Trace Jackson Davis, Devontae Green are core pieces there. In sixth, I have the Wisconsin Badgers. Um, Greg Gard, year five. Last year, 23 and 11, 14 and 6 in Big Ten. They were upset by Oregon in the first round last year. Dimitri Trace is their best player coming into this year. Number seven, I have the Illinois Fighting Illini. So, another surprise team in this conference this year. Brad Underwood, year three. Coming off a disappointing 12 and 21 season, 7 and 13 in Big Ten play. Noble players on this team Ayo Dosanmu, Georgi Baneshavili, Trent Frazier, and Coffee Cockburn. Eighth place, I have the Michigan Wolverines, who say goodbye to John Beeline as he goes to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Coming in, Jawan Howard back into his alma mater, so it should be interesting what Howard does with this team. Xavier Simpson returns, as well as Franz Wagner. Um, I'm interested to see how um, this season really goes for Juwan. There's a lot of pressure on him, in my opinion, because obviously Beeline did such a great job with this program and took them to places that um, they really... Um, really, really uh, belonged with the talent and in uh, 
they overachieve sometimes. He's really, really good at motivating players. Um, last year, 30-7, and 15-5 and five in Big Ten play. In ninth place, I have the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Richard Pertino, year seven. This year, this team made the tournament last year and actually won a tournament game against Louisville. Last year, 22 and 14, and then 9 and 11 in the Big Ten. Um, Daniel Oturu is returning. In 10th place, I have the Iowa Hawkeyes, Fran McCaffrey in year 10. Last year, 23 and 12, 10 and 10. They were in the tournament last year. Notable player returning, Joe Weeks Camp. In 11th place, I have the Rutgers Scarlet Knights, who I think will be an improved team in year four under Steve Pickle. Um, last year, 14 and 17, 7 and 13 in Big Ten play. And they made the Big Ten tournament, lost to Nebraska. Um, so I'm interested to see how in year four this team improves under Steve Pickle. In 12th place, I have the Penn State Nittany Lions. Pat Chambers in year 9. Um, notable player coming back, Lamar Stevens. Last year, this team went 14 and 18, 7 and 13 in Big Ten play. In 13th, I have the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Fred Hoiberg comes in and replaces. Um, Tim Miles, um, Hoiberg, I think, will get a lot out of these players, and I think that they could overachieve a little bit, and in 14th, in the, in the cellar, I have the Northwestern Wildcats, Chris Collins in year eight, um, attorney player, A.J. Turner, last year, disappointing, 13 and 19, 4 and 16, in Big Ten play. I think they'll be a little better, but I don't know how much better they'll be. Okay, awards. Player of the year, Cassius Winston. Was there really any other choice? Freshman of the year, Trace Jackson Davis of Indiana. I think that he'll help lead them to the tournament. Um, and coach of the year, Archie Miller. I think this is the surprise team in this conference, although Brad Underwood would be in play for this. Greg Gard, obviously. Turgeon and Izzo as well. Holtman always does a great job with Ohio State. And I think Juwan Howard will be in play. But there's so many great coaches in this league. Holy God. NCAA tournament teams, Michigan State, Maryland, Ohio State, Purdue, Indiana, Wisconsin, Illinois, Michigan, NIT, Minnesota, and Iowa, CBI, Rutgers, and Penn State. And then uh, I think Nebraska could be in the CIT potentially if they – Choose to go there. Conference bold prediction. I think Pat Chambers finally loses his job at Penn State. And then Penn State goes and makes a somewhat splashy hire. Um, and that's it for the Big Ten preview podcast. Next up, the Big 12.